The narrative of this film opens with Pippa and her boyfriend Thomas moving into their shared home in Montreal for the first time and the evening over a drink. They are both happy about their plans to live together. Pippa and Thomas are alerted by the fact that the apartment in front of their window is clearly visible. The neighbors begin kissing and keep staring at each other. The in-love couple criticizes the other's behavior from their perspective. Thomas is urged to respect their privacy and stop staring at them by Pippa, according to Thomas. They are doing it with the necessary awareness of being observed and have no issues with it. But Pippa eventually persuades Thomas that there are other people in the view window of Pippa and Thomas's home and that there is a different life happening in each window. However, the window that looks out onto the house across the street has a more captivating angle of view than the others. Pippa gets ready and picks out a seductive nightgown to entice Thomas for their first makeout session in their new home. But she soon learns that Thomas is asleep and her attempts to woo him are ineffective. The next day, Pippa wakes up to a gorgeous morning in her new neighborhood before heading to work with her close friend Marie. She inquires about her new relationship with Thomas, but adds that last night she observed the neighbor next door engaging in bang bang. They were stunning and were present for everything. Pippa assists ophthalmologists while learning and gaining experience in preparation for a career as a doctor. When Pippa moves into a new home, her senior doctor gives her a gift and tells her that the birds that visit her house to drink water will enjoy and be happy because of it. When Pippa gets home, she is delighted to see a lovely drawing of Thomas on the whiteboard and hangs the doctor's present. They talk about how they have become friends with their new neighbors and are in awe of the beauty of their lives. Thomas realized that his neighbor is choking and that something is wrong. They make an effort to explain his condition to his wife, but she is unable to comprehend, but requests Thomas to assist him by going to their home. When his wife intervenes to save him at the last second, they kiss and Pippa and Thomas are relieved that he has been saved in the middle of the night. Pippa visits the kitchen to get some water because she can't sleep, but she notices the opposite window once more. Pippa continues and observes that the neighbor's wife is leaving for a trip and that her husband is watching her leave from the window that looks out onto their home. She incites her because she is so entranced by his neighbor's beauty and charm. However, the water glass shatters when he turns to face her. The following day, Thomas, whose job it is to simultaneously create music for commercials. He notices that their neighbor, whose job it is to photograph models, is with one of the models while his wife isn't home in the house across the street. It has a very cozy feeling. When Pippa gets home from work, she notices the hunting camera in the store window and decides to purchase it. Now that they are looking into this man's actions while his wife is away more thorough, they discover that he has invited the same person to his house who was speaking to him earlier in order to take a picture of her and give her a drink. But a short while later, while they are making love, he provokes the girl by taking off his clothes. This is also done in a novel, creative way by Pippa and Thomas. Thomas, like the neighbor next door, is unable to provide a happy ending for her. Pippa stays awake throughout the night, gets out of bed, and keeps peeking at her neighbor. After visiting her husband after returning from a trip, the neighbor's wife discovers that they have a close bond. She tells her friends about this incident the following day, and during her conversations with Thomas's sister, she learns that in the past, he had been able to use a long-range microphone to extract sound from enclosed spaces. He explains to Pippa at home how he uses vibrations to access the sound inside the house. However, Pippa is adamant about installing a sound reflecting device when they enter their neighbor's home. So she makes the decision to go to the party at their house with Thomas while remaining unnoticed. Sebastian carries Pippa to the photo shoot area as soon as they arrive and asks Thomas to take a picture of them together. After instructing them on how to take a lovely photo, Sebastian guides them through the photo shoot and then leaves them alone. Later, as he waits to use the restroom, he learns that Sebastian has cheated on his wife once more. With Thomas' assistance, Lieber installs a mirror behind one of the statues in the house while using the distraction of people. They then leave and go back to their house. With Pippa's assistance, Thomas reflects the laser light on the mirror, and she takes the initiative to find the laser light. Thomas makes the necessary modifications, and they are able to hear the voices of the couple. They are fighting because Julia found out Sebastian cheated on her by going to the bathroom with some other women. Sebastian wants to sever his relationship with Julia and file for divorce because he is sick of their constant disagreement. He tries to put an end to the conversation by telling her that she is no longer in need of this issue and by trying to calm him down. However, frustrated with her actions, Sebastian makes fun of her, breaking her glasses in the process. But following day, when the ophthalmologist's office learns that Julia has come to buy glasses, Pippa has to help Julia select a new frame so that she can enroll in new classes. Julia has during the eye examination. Letters are difficult to distinguish. And Pippa feels the strain of Julia's house being revealed on their spine. After the test, she uses another device to check Julia's eyes to make sure there are no issues. In the process of selecting glasses, they also get closer and enjoy each other's company. 
Julia offers to spend the weekend with Pippa in the sauna and hot tub as she departs and asks to meet her again. Pippa concurs with the emphasis. While he is working on his advertising project, Julia leaves the office. Thomas is intrigued by what Sebastian says to the subject of his photograph. As you listen to what they are saying with a microphone, you realize that Sebastian is attempting to seduce the photography model using his standard tactic. Thomas asks Pippa what happened in the office, and she tells him that they even went on a date over the weekend. Thomas then asks Pippa to tell her about his wife's unhealthy relationship. However, Thomas assures Pippa that this is unrelated to them. They need to put their relationship first and stop looking over their neighbor's fences. Thomas tries to get Pippa to change her plans with Julia, but she refuses. Thomas becomes discouraged and leaves the house under the pretense of going out to get a drink. Pippa and Juliet visit the Santa Club over the weekend. Pippa makes an effort to understand her subtly. They are in order to stay away from a relationship where there is betrayal. She is informed by Julia that she owes her husband everything in her life and that she would be unable to succeed without him. She admires Sebastian, thinks highly of him considers him a complete professional in his line of work, and she has complete faith in him. Pippa remains silent, and a short while later they leave the Santa Club and park in front of their house. Now that Pippa is in a committed relationship with these two individuals, she is constantly snooping into their lives and carefully observing Sebastian's unhealthy relationships. After putting the listening devices in place and realizing that Julia is awake, Pippa gets out of bed and tries to use Thomas' computer to connect to their home's printer. Viva is successful, and he sends Julia an anonymous message that contains Sebastian's treachery. When Julia first tells Julia that Sebastian's used condom is in the bathroom trash can, Julia initially doesn't believe her. Thomas is now aware of what is happening and accuses Pippa of interfering, saying that it is excessive. Pippa, however, is determined to make Sebastian look bad. At the perfect moment, Julia finds the trash can and realizes the reality of the situation. In front of Pippa and Thomas, Julia rushes to Sebastian's room brandishing a knife. Thomas tries to call the police, but Pippa tells him not to because they'll be detained for snooping. Julia finally gives up trying to kill Sebastian and exits the room. Pippa's camera is crushed by a furious Thomas before he retreats to the bedroom. The following day, Pippa talks to Thomas and agrees not to spy on her neighbor again after he asks her to stop. They embrace after she promises not to use the spy camera again following last night's dangerous incident. But she soon realizes that her neighbor's home has experienced a strange incident. Julia has killed herself. Thomas, who is terrified, attributes the incident to Pippa. Pippa is left alone as he gathers his belongings and ends his relationship with her. Pippa spends the night by herself in bed. When she calls customers the following day to deliver ready-made glasses, she runs into Julia's glasses and records a message about giving her the new glasses while harboring resentment. After a few weeks, Pippa notices Sebastian's poor mental state following the death of his wife. So she goes to the store where he's having a drink in an effort to ease his guilt. Pippa looks at him. As soon as he sees her, Sebastian approaches her table and starts a conversation. Pippa is invited to Sebastian's house for drinks and to pose for a photo. Pippa concurs, and they both travel to Sebastian's home. He offers Pippa a drink and, using his customary opening, invites her to his exhibition. Pippa is asked to take a picture for the camera by Sebastian. After taking a few pictures, Sebastian asks Pippa to take off her clothes so we can get better pictures, telling her to trust him with his antiquated method because he is a professional. Pippa was impressed by Sebastian and took off her clothes after he did. And Sebastian took a picture of her while she was naked. Following a few pictures, they kissed and began to date while she was cheating. Thomas arrives at the house at the same time with a bouquet of flowers. And when he doesn't see Pippa there, he goes to the refrigerator and gets his usual beverage. Some of his drinks are poured over for the birds. Thomas notices the new visitor in Sebastian's home. And when he spots them on camera, he realizes that Pippa is having an extramarital affair. Sebastian returns home the next day and discovers that Thomas has hanged himself and is dead when Pippa awakens in his arms. After this incident, Pippa spends a lot of time mourning Thomas' death, lives a depressing life, and feels solely responsible for what happened. Later, he decides to accompany Ariana to Sebastian's opening ceremony on Poster Street after seeing it there. She is thanked for coming to the ceremony, and Sebastian asks her to take it all in. As he begins to discuss his latest endeavor, Sebastian invites Julia, his beloved, to give the audience an overview of the project specifics. In astonishment, Julia is in perfect health, and it turns out that Pippa and Thomas have nothing to do with their new project at all. Pippa and Thomas were illegally watching them, according to Julia and Sebastian, who claim that they were unaware that the cameras in the house were recording all of their moods. The entire life of Pippa is described to the audience by Julia, who believes that Pippa's actions were primarily responsible for Thomas' passing. As soon as she steps inside the attic room, 
She realizes that Sebastian and Julia have captured every second of their time in the house on camera. Pippa tears up the pictures, crushes everything else, and sobs. Pippa has to leave the house in Montreal the following day. After pouring the beverage into the bird's water tank, she begins packing the residence. After seeing some dead birds under the window, she meets Julia, who bids her farewell. Sebastian and Julia spoke with a magazine about their plan to use Spy in their lives to take pictures of their neighbors for a second season that would feature a different neighbor in each episode. Sebastian exhibits chitty behavior after the interview is over and leaves the magazine office with Julia. They bring the presents that their fans sent them home. Following a drink, they discuss Sebastian's guilt. Julia is questioned by Sebastian about her lack of shame. Julia responds that she is not to blame for Thomas passing and names the murderer. When Pippa talks to them, the printer starts printing paper once more, and she assures them that Thomas was murdered and not committed suicide because she is certain of everything. Pippa is spotted by Sebastian and Julia, who pursue her to stop her. Pippa tries to stop them from entering her workplace as she runs there but is unsuccessful. Pippa clarifies that she is aware Julia poisoned Thomas while making the crime appear to be a suicide. According to Pippa, they played her and are actually to blame for Thomas passing. Julia continues to act innocent and believes Pippa is hallucinating when she says these things. But then she passes out. Sebastian Patel is a Patel. She gave them the poison drink as a gift and pleaded with Sebastian to take one final look at her face because it will be the last thing he sees. To prevent them from destroying someone else's life and from missing their next project. Pippa puts them under the machine and uses ophthalmic tools to make them blind. 